I'm here at Malmstrom Air Force Base where a recent study has shown that there are high levels of PCB, a probable human carcinogen. The United States Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine is conducting a missile community cancer study. According to their website, it was designed to be a formal assessment that addresses specific cancer concerns raised by missile community members across related career fields. It also examines the possibility of clusters of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at intercontinental ballistic missile bases. PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls, are man-made organic chemicals consisting of carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine atoms. They have no smell or taste and can vary in texture from a solid wax to an oily liquid. They were manufactured in the U.S. from 1929 through 1979 and had many industrial and commercial uses. According to the Air Force Global Strike Command, initial results show Malmstrom Air Force Base had PCB levels above the cleanup threshold designated by law. They say 300 surface swipe samples were taken from across all Malmstrom Air Force Base launch control centers. Of those swipes, 279 returned non-detectable results. Of the 21 with detectable results, 19 were below the mitigation level established by federal law and regulation. While the number might be low, experts say that any exposure to PCB can be dangerous. PCBs can have a wide array of negative health effects, including increasing your risk for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other cancers, as they were determined to be probable human carcinogens. Other serious potential effects on the immune system are also high, including having negative reproductive and neurological effects. U.S. Senator John Tester responded to the news with a letter to the Department of Defense, saying, quote, I am deeply alarmed by the Air Force's most recent study, released this week, which revealed that unsafe levels of a likely carcinogen have been detected at Malmstrom. Tester continued, saying, our missileers play a critical role in protecting Montana and our nation, and I'm calling on the Defense Department to ensure all potentially impacted service members and their families receive swift answers and appropriate care. It is urgent that the Air Force work immediately to identify any potential risk to service members and ensure anyone who has been exposed to harmful conditions or that incurred an illness due to their service receive the care they need. In a statement, Senator Steve Daines said, I'm deeply concerned by the reports that dangerous carcinogens were found at Malmstrom Air Force Base. I've been in contact with the Air Force and believe the Department of Defense needs to take immediate action to clean up the affected facilities and ensure all missileers who are exposed receive proper care. As of now, we are still waiting for a response from the base as to how they will be addressing the situation moving forward. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.